everyone! Today we play with pinks and reds and all kinds of luscious colors in that zone. Let's see how this works out. Hang on! So we are going to do reds and pinks and maybe some violets and tones within that range. So some really luscious colors. Um, I believe you even mix in a little bit of a very uh, subtle golds and stuff with some interference blings and stuff. So recap real quick for anybody who hasn't done this before. Uh, we've got some excellent um, ornaments from Judy Sands and uh, I'm sorry, Judy Sand. And they are, um, I call them heirloom ornaments because they're really thick. And this technique works perfect in them. We've got them coated with a polyacrylic. And I've drained them out into cups. And I am going to be putting in some different color powders. So this is a uh, resist and bind uh, powder that is uh, sold by Color Art. And by placing that inside these ornaments, it creates almost, almost spots like you would look at antique uh, mirrors and you would have those little dark areas, almost like where the silver kind of comes off. So it kind of gives a, uh, the image of a, or the impression of an antique glass. Anyway, so whenever I add any kind of colors, to these ornaments as you can see I'm using a little stick to scoop them up and stuff like that but whenever I add a, um, any type of color or in this case this uh, resist I'm using the fat parts of my hand to pounce the the egg or the ornament I should say and pounce it around to jar loose all the powders and bounce them around so the same technique is used for each color and or each individual section so it's just a matter of laying in colors and combining things. So I believe I am using the interference color right now, which almost always looks white. But when you look at it in the sun, like you can see in the one egg right there, it you see a little bit of a blue tinge. So it plays with, I'm saying so a lot, so sorry, <laughs> as I put in another one. It plays with light a lot. And that's where you pick up the different colors. and. That's the main reason why I love the interference so much, play with the lights. I use these sticks that I got. Okay, I got them from Starbucks. My hubby loves the coffee from Starbucks. And so while I'm in there, I grab a couple more. But they're really, really long. The shape of them works really well. And it, it just fits in the eggs really nicely. So we're going to continue this process and layering them up and put them to the side and about 24 hours later they start to well within that time period i should say the colors start to bond together blend together and react with the polyacrylic which basically we kind of create a little bit of a paint inside and tomorrow they blend and look magical you'll get a lot of luster that comes out in these colors um, oh, if I didn't say this already, the colors are um, primary elements by color art and come in a huge variety of colors. And I'll leave that link in the description. So I'm going to throw some music on. Enjoy. And they'll, oh, there'll be pictures in the end of immediately afterwards and then about 24 hours afterwards. And a photograph of the colors I used as well towards the end. Later. The thought that I wrote All of the words that we spoke Yet only with our eyes Now is the time to choose Somebody wins and some lose I can see through your disguise Lay it down, hope for something better Looking at the clouds, the sun
everyone. So I wanted to also include that I'm doing these in sets of four at this point. It seems to work a little bit faster. You're going through the motions of applying each color to each individual one and less thinking about it, overthinking basically and just enjoying the process. So don't forget I've got uh, details coming up with immediately afterwards or overall images and detail shots as well as how they the colors develop about 24 hours later and at the very end is a shot of all the colors I used so y'all have a good one and hit that like button hit the subscribe but definitely hit the bell to get notified next time I put a video up later y'all